guys welcome back to another video and the uh, first thing I want to say is sorry that I haven't uploaded in like three days I'm so sorry about that um, uh, one of the reasons why I didn't upload yesterday like I was planning on because I was gonna upload yesterday um, I did a lot of stuff yesterday went out and did stuff uh, was very busy uh, basically the same type of deal with all the other days I was very busy uh, there's been some stuff happening, which is too personal, I can't tell you. But uh, yeah, just a lot of bad stuff has been happening, been busy too, as well, and I'm very sorry. So what I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get into the video now. And today's video is going to be the 20 subscriber special, and I know that is not a big deal. Uh, but to me it is. Um, I thought I was gonna be stuck on like, getting up to 19 and then 18 for like ever, because people... People uh, subscribe and then desubscribe and it gets annoying. Um, but I'm just happy and uh, thank you all uh, who even watch my videos. I know some people probably just subscribe and don't even do anything. But um, to those of you who do watch, thank you so much. And I uh, hope you are all having a wonderful day. And with that being said, I will be getting into this video now. And it's going to be a story. Uh, it's a true story that happened, uh, um, about, I don't know, five, four years ago. I don't really exactly remember, I was around, like, seven or six. This doesn't really involve me, but more my mom and my sister. So what happened is, uh, um, my mom and a few of her friends, they went to this abandoned asylum, or whatever it's called, the Eloise Abandoned Asylum. And, um, nothing really bad happened there, but, uh, they got home, like, a few days afterwards. Uh, some strange things have been happening, and I remember some of these, and, uh, most recently made my mom tell me the story all over again, so I can tell for maybe a video, because I was thinking about doing a video. But then I reached 20 subscribers today, or maybe even last night, uh, I didn't check last night. So, what happened... There's a lot of strange stuff. It's just very scary and uh, it's kind of weird to talk about. So, yeah. First bad thing that happened is um, a lamp uh, in my dad's bedroom. Or, well, my dad and my mom's bedroom. A lamp went flying across the whole entire bedroom uh, while my dad uh, was uh, asleep. I don't exactly remember. It was like asleep, but I know it was like nighttime around that time and we had to go get like a new lamp oh wait no we never even got a new lamp we had one half of the room that didn't have a lamp so yeah the room the room was very dark uh because we didn't have another lamp and we couldn't afford another lamp anyway so yeah so what else happened is also uh uh this one night the power went out and we had, like, uh, candles all over the house. And this one candle had, like, a glass pod around it. Or, well, a circle around it. You know, like, some of those candles, they will have, um, like, glass around them. And then just the wax inside. But one of those was, uh, just cracking straight from the top all the way down. Uh, it didn't break all the way. Just It was just cracking in half. And, um... I was, I remember this too, uh, I was asleep during this happening, but I remember my mom telling uh, everyone the next morning, um, which was scary. I do not like all this stuff that's been happening during that time, so, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this so far, but it's just so scary to talk about, so... Also, what happened is my sister, how this involves my sister, it mostly involves my sister, like, 100%. My sister, she would not sleep in her room, and, uh, we know why. She kept saying stuff about it, and, uh, about this, like, scary black blob figure. She called it something, like, the dark power, or the power. She called it something, and I don't know what she called it. It was very strange, and it was very scary, so... Don't really like to talk about it, or well, she doesn't. So I try to talk about it for 
for this. We'll try to talk to her about it. She does not like anyone talking about it because she does not like to be reminded of it. And she was very little. She was like uh, two years old. And um, yeah, she would never sleep in her room. She would always sleep. And uh, if she does go in that room, she always complains uh, about it. And um, then my mom, she went to this place to go get like these stones to protect our house. Which they worked. Thank God we don't deal with anything anymore. So, um, my mom, she went to this one store. Uh, I don't remember what she said it was called. It was something, so. Yeah, um, it was called, uh, something. Um, uh, yeah, but that's not important. Uh, she was talking to this lady, the lady who worked here. And my mom is apparently, like, some sort of psychic, and, uh, and this lady was like, you you can see some stuff that happens before, before it happens. An example is, uh, this one time me me and my whole entire family were going up to Florida, uh, for like a week or two, and she had a feeling that our great great grandpa was going to die, and the next day, he died, and that was very sad. He died like the first night, of us going to Florida. And uh, she started to say this while we were heading to Florida, so, yeah, we'll miss him. And um, I wonder what will happen if we move and we, like, forget the rocks, because we might move uh, next year and something. Because uh, our house, we're running out of space. Like, we need, a, we need, like, another two rooms. So. So if we forget the rocks, this, this might happen again, because... Also, my mom, she's been saying that she f she's getting these feelings when she's not in the house, which is very strange. I really do not like talking about this for real, though. And uh, I keep getting some feelings, too, but I think I think it's just from my uh, dead grandpa because uh, one of my grandpa uh, died. My other grandpa died last, uh, last year, the year before. And... This is giving me the chills talking about this, and uh, the the my mom and the lady were talking about this, and my mom was all like, "How do you know this and stuff?" And she said, "I can feel it, and it's all strange and stuff." And this is from my mom telling me this, and I don't know, and I'm not very good with talking to people, so if you hear my voice and if I keep uh, being silent for like a few seconds, it's because um uh. Yeah, just like that, uh, I keep doing it because I'm getting getting all cold and shaking from telling this, for one. So that's very bad. Um, oh, I'm running out of storage space, so I need to hurry this up. And uh, she bought the stones and put the stones around uh, our house, and that's basically it. This was my 20, 20 subscriber special, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to hear more stories, I have stories, a lot of stories that I remember through life because I love holding on to things. So, yeah, that will be the end of today's video. And, uh, in the comments, uh, tell me if you liked this, this type of thing. And, uh, yeah, uh, see you guys next time in the next video. Also, like the video and please share it. Please get us, get this channel some more subscribers. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.